Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. The one time I pick Leeson, what do I get? Big man, big man, Volley Bear, Gragas. Yuck. I mean, that makes my build pretty simple though. Eclipse into Black Cleaver, Merc Treads, job's done. You get a bunch of Sundered Sky, whatever, at that point. Leeson's pretty simple. You know, he's the most complicated, or he's one of the strongest. What am I trying to say, Bob? He's one of the most like mechanical champions in the jungle role. But in terms of how you play the champion, it's very simple. Like any other paradox in this world, like, of course it would be that way. So the jungle path that we're taking here will put us in position for a play at like any moment. And because of that, we can be involved. Lee Sin is very, very good at basically just showing up to a position. And then when he's in that position, he can make things happen. He can mitigate things from happening or he can exacerbate the thing that is happening. So he's a, he's really a catalyst to anything that <laughs> that's happening. Subscribe for me to talk more already. So as we hit level three here, I'm gonna be trying to gank top lane. Nothing's really happening up there, so we don't have to. We traded flashes with mid level one in an offensive way, so we know that mid lane's flash is down. Ganking from left side from my red side is a little bit less likely. Alrighty, we finished this bad boy, and Gragas is full HP, so that makes things pretty simple. We will not be ganking there. See if I can cross through mid lane. We have our ward hop, but Nico is level 3, so she'll have her W. And Volibear also can look for level 3 ganks, so we'll see. We'll see. Moving! Ward hop. E, E, moving. Q. Deal some damage, and then we can look to exit here. We don't want to enter the river. The whole bear could be in there. That's a problem for us. So I can go back to my camps. I'm going to check my blue buff like that. The blue buff's gone, as you would expect. I have a whole volley bear problem, so I'll finish my wolves here and look, look to path towards the volley bear's blue side. If they're gonna dive my bot lane, well, they're stupid, they can't do that. If Lucent's passive, you want to use all the abilities, at least the Q and E. The Q1 and the E before you use that Q2. The lower the target is, the more damage the Q2 deals. Also, utilizing the passive. My bot lane's just now catching on to what's going on here. Finish up the scuttle and then we'll need one camp for level 4, but we'll be fine. As least in you're playing for these level spikes, not exactly particular timings. There's nothing specific in that. And the Gromp is guaranteed to give us level 4 as well. I'm gonna pull this up just in case the Volley Bear would be moving around the map here. Go ahead and use my Smite. Use that early so the Q deals more damage. And then into. Ward hop. <laughs> bye bye. This guy wants the 2v2, that's okay. This guy has no Q on Volley Bear. Moving. W. Moving. Auto. E. E. No knock up onto anyone. Okay. So much for the 2v2, eh? Once again, they can't really dive them, it'd be pretty stupid. We'll let them think they could, but we'll see. Volley Bear exits, so do I. Back to my camps. So we got our level 4, and now we're going to be farming strictly until level 5. Where nothing really happened in the early stage here, and then Volley Bear attacked my jungle. And all my lanes were kind of whatever. It's fine. It's not good, but I don't get juiced. If you don't get juiced, then things stay pretty standard. So then we can't skip camps, like, as easily. We don't have tempo to spend like that. We don't have tempo to waste. So as these camps are up, we're just going to stay on the map and clear them. Basically until that level 5. And then as we recall, we'll have more gold and be able to buy more AD because of it. The Volley Bear starts these, but I'll be able to take at least one Void Grub right here. I'll just walk right in here. Volley Bear is likely to spend most of his abilities. And we're probably not going to die. It's okay. Moving. Just trying to spot out one Void Grub here. Pew. If I could get one of these low, auto E, smite. What? He smited his and he gave the other one the shield. That is so unlucky. Adios. We gotta get out of here, Bob. Because that Void Grub was gonna give me level 5. Aw. <laughs> uh, well played. Clean up some camps here. Now we're super behind on tempo, but that's... I mean, that's the Volley Bear matchup. We do not care. 
So we can't really play for our level 5 spike either, so we're gonna play for level 6. And that's gonna mean a lot of farming. Luckily on this reset we'll have some AD. And that's when things get fun for Mr. Lee Singer with... Nothing Burger lanes. Auto. Auto. W. Auto. Auto. Q. Auto. Auto. E. Auto. Q. Auto. E. Auto. W. Auto. Auto. W. Auto. Auto. Q. Q. With the jungle pet changes too, it's pretty good for Lee Sin. Regardless of what you're building, you're going to be clearing pretty fast. Paul Fields, Longsword, Control Ward. It's pretty important to get a Control Ward most resets as Lee Sen. You always want something to ward hop to. Control Ward gives you extra options. So we got the Call Fields, 25 AD, 10 Ability Haste, and then 10 AD on the Longsword. Building into that Eclipse is our first item, giving us a ton of AD, a little bit of Ability Haste, and extra damage. Lee Sen uses that extra damage super well. Well, they take both objectives, so I'll just smite my camps, get these done faster, and then we're looking for level 6. That's where our real fight is going to happen. If I was to skip my camps right here and look for a play, it's just so unlikely. This guy's pushed in, you know, nothing's happening there, full HP, and I don't have ulti. I'd be a level 5 loser ganking level 7 solo lanes with no ulti. It just doesn't make sense, now does it? With my ulti. It's still pretty hard to get a gank on a Gragas, a Nico, or a Yasuo. So really, we're just going to have to play it by ear and react. This Caulfield's Warhammer, I mean, you can see the clear speed right now. So much faster. Lee Sin gets that free attack speed from his passive. And you utilize that by building a shit ton of AD. Do. Luck says don't do anything, no mana. But this guy already spent his W. Ward hop. You. Oh. I thought I R flashed. Oh well. Good fucking pings, man. Really helps me focus. Q. The thing is with Lisa, I don't even need Lux's help to solo kill right there. Q. Q. Auto. Nice. E. E. Auto. There's his flash. Let's go ahead and reset to the blue side. Even though we waste our flash bob, we got cosmic inside. That bad boy's coming up in four minutes. Forgot to mention with the runes. Where's the flash away? Since we don't get a kill, we do not get pickaxe. I skipped my camps, I didn't get a kill. L. So I'm gonna clear my blue side, reset, have my pickaxe. But with the runes, we have Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Coop. Deal more damage and take more damage. It's more with the sustained fights, with Lee Sin, especially as you go into the mid game, you go in and out in a fight, so having the Conqueror is pretty important. It's not important to have more burst damage, it's not exactly how this champion functions. Sure, you deal a lot of damage, sure you can one-shot people, but he's not actually an assassin, if you know what I mean. Well, Luck's going to go down eventually, but we got Volley Barrel, too. Yasuo's going to be a lone bot lane with Twitch. So that is a pretty good chance for the Yasuo to try to just dash through the wave and attack him. If I'm there with my ulti, then we have a pretty good chance for a play. What are you doing up there, Alistar? Moving. Now that minion would see me. Now we need to be in a bush to let him fully engage on the Twitch. There's the knockup. Damn. He just totally backs up. I'm going to push the wave and then try to attack him. We have Alistar coming as well, so we have pretty good chances here. The jungler and the support being topside. Pretty simple. Kill that guy. Ulti. Q. Auto. E. Q. Smite. E. Auto. W. Auto. Q. Cute. Nice. We did it, Bob. We're on the board and nobody important died. Who's with me? We get a turret plate on my way out right here. 
That's a bunch of gold for us. That's exactly what we needed. Why? Well, the gold gives me damage, Bob. And I'm gonna need a lot of damage to carry this one. Seems like I'm gonna have to do some stuff by myself. If a man's gotta do something by himself, you know, he's gonna need a lot of strength. That's exactly what we're gonna get here. We complete that Eclipse, 70 AD, 15 Ability Haste, hitting a champion, two separate attack, deal 20% max health, bonus physical damage, as well as giving us a 20, a 200 HP shield for two seconds on a six second cooldown. And then we got a long sword, that's 10 AD. Write that down. We can get involved here, we got 30 seconds on our ulti. Bully Bear's gotten all the objectives, so we might as well try to get some kills while we're, <laughs> while we can. The play is running away from us, but like honestly, it's fine. I'll just take a camp. Next item we'll be getting is that Black Cleaver, and that will really help us against the tank champions, especially as we go into the mid game. We need to get some levels though. We're only level 7, which is pretty slow. But right now, we're trading that dragon for the Bully Bear's blue side camps, which is kind of a deal. And then if I clear all of my camps, then I'm good. Yasuo takes bot turret. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bob, my team is weird. Anyways, we'll keep clearing. I'm gonna be maxing the W second. Maxing the W second is pretty important, giving you the HP. As you go into the mid game, like one, you need HP to team fight so you can get it through the shield. Two, it reduces the cooldown. Does it? W? I don't even know if it reduces the cooldown or not. But having more shield definitely makes you more potent. As you go in and out, you're gonna cast that bad boy at least twice. Alrighty, Mr. Gragas, it's time to pay for existing. If you use your E, you die. Bomba? Q, Q, auto, smite, E, auto, E. Don't even have to ulti. You could always flash ulti there to follow, but not necessary this time. Well, we got an assist. Lux gets the kill. It's okay. Now, I could get the Merc Treads right now, or I could build into the Black Cleaver. Kind of down for the Merc Treads. Gives me more mobility. Just get me around the map faster. The turrets are already going down. They have two dragons, like the Void Grubs, you know. The mid game is very much commenced, so sure, give me the tier 2 boots. Even though it definitely feels weird to skip. Skip getting some HP and AD along the way here. W. Flash, Q. <laughs> I'll hit one, guys. Moving. Ward up. Ulti. Q. Q. Auto, E. Auto, E. Auto. Q, Q, auto. Oh! Come on, Betsy! E! Yes! <laughs> I shield myself twice. I use the empowered W. The second part of the W gives me spell vamp. Bang! I use my E. Eclipse is procced again. Lol. <laughs> oh, you missed your abilities. Shut up, man. Whoever's watching this said it, shut up. You talk and play Lee Sin and try to not look like a grandma with Parkinson's, okay? Let's clear these wolves and reset. Spend my gold. I won the fight. I get to spend gold. I'm gonna get a phage. We're looking for level 11, Bob. That's gonna give us a second point in our ulti. Phage control ward to the blue buff. Fuck Rift Herald. <sighs> level 11 is going to give a second point in ulti. Look at that base damage. 175 to 400. We go to 400 base damage. The Yasuo pushed bot, I wonder. Are you moving through river? Q, Q, auto, moving, auto, auto. Ward hop. Oh shit. Sorty. Sorty. Well, there's nothing for me to buy now. Why would you do that? Aren't you thinking? No. You think while playing Lee Sin, you're stupid. It's 
honestly the tricky part about doing a commentary with champions like Lee Sin. Lee Sin, Nidalee, J4, etc, etc. The more you think, the harder it is to play the champion. And whenever I'm doing commentary, it's like in a sense I'm thinking. Once I get in the groove of talking, the talking becomes its own thinking instead of being cerebral. It's like vocal, if that makes sense. Clean up some camps, Bob. I've only died once, huh? For all the, quote, impact I've had. Lots of this area being warded pretty high. Nice, no wind wall. Q. Q. Auto, smite, E. Auto, auto. Auto. He's fine, he's fine. Knock up. Q. Q. Auto, ulti. Knock up. Twitch with absolutely no damage. W, auto, Q. I have no W to get out. Move in. Oh, she doesn't care about me. Bomba. Twitched into auto once when me and Alistar knocked up twice. Okay. So this part of the mid game is Lee Sin, right? There's no like set pattern of play in a sense. The set pattern is going to be your reactions and then how the fights play out and how you play the fights. That's going to be the consistent part of your own gameplay. The early buildup has some aspects to it. And then this part is really like whatever the game state is, that's where you... Lee Sin's super unique because you get to this part of the game. It's kind of all Jesus how you play the game or not. Well, Karma into the blue side here. My ulti's coming up, but I could honestly finish these guys off with like a couple Qs. Moving. Q. Moving. Q. Auto E. Moving. Ward off Q. Q. Auto. Smite. Auto. Op e. Auto. Flux. Q, Q, auto, W, W, auto. Oh, if Twitch dealt more damage. That second Eclipse Brock and the second um, Safeguard is just so damn strong. Kindle Gem, Longsword, Control Ward, we're close. I'm only 500 smackaroons away from that damn Black Cleaver, and that's going to greatly augment the damage I can deal and take. Guys, there's a wind wall. There's a wind wall. They can't hit. Door stuck. Uh, oh! Uh. I have my ulti, Bob. Let's see. I just need to get like a fart of a wolf right here, and I'm level 11. That fight's already started. You be there, be square. Um, Let's be square on this one. The dragon doesn't matter too much, and my allies have already spent ultis and shit. So. We'll just farm. Forgot to mention, we went the green smite so that we have more HP come mid game here. As you can see, we're built in pretty offensively, but we still need to be able to take damage. We need both deal damage and take damage. Classic bruiser. Guys, why are you fighting? Guys, you don't have ultis. You don't have to fight. The jungler's not even there. Let's reset. It'd be stupid to go into Volibear's jungle and get his camps. It doesn't even matter to deny him. I already have my item. My team is itching to fight. Better be there. Black Cleaver, baby. Black Cleaver, 55 AD, 400 HP, 20 ability haste. Dealing damage to the enemy reduces their armor by a percentage, so the more they have, the more we reduce. Reuse. Ikiki. Wow, oh, where's my Gromp, man? Come on. I come home from work. Working all damn day. And what do I find? My Gromp with another jungler. Got a damn mid laner challenging me for my blue buff. Just not the household you want to come home to. Close. Two. Close. Knock up. Two. Two. Auto. E. Auto. Oh! He's gonna ulti. 
Yeah, me, me too, Alistar. We're going. On to the damn carries here. Okay, Q, Q, auto E, E, auto. Taking me too long. Q, Q, auto. Well, they're all dead. Let's push bot. We're trying to get an objective after we kill the enemy. Where's the objective? You guessed it, that bot turret. Push mid, reset. What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> I bet you go to Yale and not even Harvard. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get some farm here. Reset. We're going to play, be playing for Baron now. They have that Dragon Soul threat, but it is what it is where they won the early objectives. It's just all Jesus how we play the team fights. Easily gonna be going for Sundered Sky. Yeah, give me Sundered Sky. Tunneler, Longsword. With all these items, we get HP and AD. As a bruiser, you need to be able to deal damage and take damage. That's the whole dynamic here. Stop taking my camps! You little rat, you fucking bandit. I need my level 13, get my W maxed. Alistar wants it, and boy, he can have it. Let's get up there. That Yasuo is cruising for a bruising, and it's a whole team issue right here. This guy has no TP. He better walk up here. Q, auto, E, E, auto. Auto, moving, 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 moving. Warthop, ulti. Q, Q, bitch. Next, next ones. Now in and out, pulling them, pulling them, back and forth. Missed his shit. Q, Q, auto, wait. Wait, moving. Forward, forward, Warthop, Q. Q, auto, auto, E, E. Can't follow, can't follow. Run! We dealt pretty good damage. Where the Kasante stays bot, it makes it awkward, and I'm playing for that next dragon, so. We didn't get exactly what we were looking for, but we really showed him who's boss, eh? No. No, you can't do Baron with no ultis and 200 HP. Play for the damn dragon. No, don't go top. They're gonna fight, Bob. They're gonna fight, you know it. Well, shouldn't you be there? Uh, and influence the youth like that? Not me, I'm a wise old fucker. <laughs> Control wards to the damn dragon, Bob. It all comes down to this. I'll be damned if they get that funny lightning effect on their hits, okay? I'm gonna stay on Twitch. They have pretty good engage with Nico being a minion and the Yasuo. If you ping the minions, I'm pretty sure it would show. But that's six minions right there. Yasuo showing bot is a good sign. Nice, this guy showing here is a good sign too. Gotcha. Your has been Nico's not one to kick into the team. She's one to kick away. Ouchie, mama. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Alrighty, dragon time. Pulling it right here is not the smartest move, boys. I always kick the volley bear away. Ulti. E, auto smite, auto. Q, Q, us! Sorry, sorry, auto. Yes, Q, auto, E, auto, E, auto. Okay, I fucked that up. Um, it's okay, it's okay, let's fine. ADC is dead. We killed our mid and AD, and then the play's kind of over. So, instead of chasing kills and whatnot, I farm at the camps now. Get some XP, wait for ADC to reset, go to Baron. Yeah, I flashed on the Twitch to try to save him from the Nico. Because I didn't, like, deal any damage to her, she lived before she could hop up. That was my first thing. And then Yasuo flashes on top of him, and I'm like, oh my god. So... This will be able to have red and blue buff going into Baron. Twitch has spawned, so I'll give the blue buff to him too. 
Sun and Sky is 1600. I should probably just farm until I have that. Forty gold, nice. Just have to do wolves. And after that, it's probably just all magic resist. So long that the Yasuo is not hitting me, we're good. I can always kick that guy's head off. Sundered Sky, forty-five AD, four hundred and fifty HP, fifteen ability haste, and hitting the enemy crits them and heals you. Just like the other three items, Bob, just deal more damage. Take less damage, lol. And then from there, we could go like Mob Malmordius, or we could go a full tank item. Full tank item in this spot's probably better. Since I have these tank and AP champions. Hold up! Engage onto the tanks. Switch with the follow up, but not much damage here. Oh my god. W. Okay. The ADC is living. Let's break the shield. Run! My team massively overdived, huh? It's gonna be barren for them. Wish me luck, Bob. I have a 200 gold shutdown. Wish me luck. At least Lee Sin has fine steals, but we're gonna have to bring it around town right here. Oh god, they see me. Sorty, 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 sorty. Ulti, auto, Q. Q, E, ulti. Ulti, Q, Q. Oh, they got Baron already. Shit. Q, Q. Well, I got two of them. Nice. Q. Auto E. Nice. Yasuo, come here. I love you. I got a triple kill. Hot dog. Flash on me. I dare you. Love you. Q. Q. He's my E. Auto. Q, Q. Yes. No win wall. Bob, I aced him. How about that? Hey, for my missing Q in the early game, my flash nothing. You already know that we were going to get a team fight like that. It's God playing. God's plan. Wait for Cassante to push this top wave, then we'll hit that top turret. Kill a bad guy, take an objective. Oh. Want to utilize your passive when you're hitting the turrets here. W, auto, auto. Same way you do the camps. You already know how to do it. Reset. Uh-oh. <laughs> and we're out. I think just a magic resist HP item, Bob. Mall of Mount Mortius is cool and all. Gives us a 600 HP shield. What an egregious item this is. <clears throat> we got level 16. The same way that the level 11 was a pretty big spike for us. Level 16 gives us 625 damage on the ulti. I would say the level 11 is a bit stronger. You go... Oh. Wow. You get more damage in the early game when it matters more. But level 16 is not bad. Mm. Oh, cheap mama. Cute. Hello. Oh shit. I don't have fucking... What are you doing, Alistar? <laughs> get it together. I'm going here. It's my... Q, Q, auto, auto, moving, he's fine, Q, Q, auto, E, E, auto, they can't deal damage to me, Q. Nice, useless engage. That's all about. Damn. I'm to farm, I guess. Damn, thought we were winning. Uh, 
Got my Kainik Rukin. Randons would be next on the board here. Reduce damage from the Sunder Sky and Yasuo. Hey, that's not too bad. We finally get some control words again. Kainik Rukin giving me 400 HP, 80 magic resist, and a big ass magic damage shield. The main deal with getting HP versus the AD, I already got 3 AD items, and as we go into the late game here, I mean the HP is going to work pretty similarly. You won't really feel the extra AD. Whereas you will feel the ability to get hit way more. That's where I can that's where I could kind of run at them in the in the red side. Well, Baron's up in two minutes. They got the Dragon Soul, it gives them a little bit more damage as they hit us. Pretty similar to like Infernal Soul, as well as giving them more ability haste and attack speed. So now we're just playing for the position on the left side of the map here, with Baron coming up. We need to respect our allies farming too. The Lux and the Twitch need to have some time to farm. I'll reset, get an Iron Elixir that'll make me tank here, and then we'll fight for the Baron the best we can. It's obviously going to be way more important to be able to take damage. Almost 4,000 HP. Iron Elixir giving me 300 and then 25% tenacity. Helping me against that Gragas Karma and Volley Bear. Let's get out there. Let's provide for Mr. Twitch. Level 14 to level 16 Yasuo. Let's do this. Oh, Uh-oh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. No Bomba just yet. Ee. -e. Hold it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hold it. Flash. They're not on Twitch. It's fine. It's not fine, the Twitch is dealing no damage. The team count kind of sucks. If the Twitch doesn't like play through, like wherever the engage is at, and nobody like set, plays to set him up, then nothing works out. The wind wall just like 1v9's whole situation. Well, I guess you guys win. I should have just, uh. I'll just say, honestly. This is good. Better that they're hitting me. God damn. Mr. Twitch, you just get hit by everything and deal no damage. Ah. I need to do Baron like right now. We have an open Nexus. Well, please. <laughs> please. Get him. God's plan. Get these minions dead and hurry it the fuck up. You can't, you can't start Baron, dumbass. God damn. Fight the bad guy first, fucking idiots. I grog a salty boys. Check it out. Now we can have a position on Baron. Okay, 
вообще мясо. О! Oh. Well shit, GG. We tried our best. My team just legit doesn't know how to team fight. It's not like it's so confusing for me too, because it's like what you, what are you guys doing? Let me start. No? Okay. Have it your way, fucking Burger King laning into Burger King late game, okay. <clears throat> Nobody gets an honor. Final damage dealt. 32,000 damage taken, 47. GG, peace.